Matt Taibbi, who is, uh, who is a lefty journalist, or at least has been a lefty journalist his whole life. He is one of the guys uh, that Elon Musk has been leaking these Twitter files to. Uh, he had a long thread yesterday about Russiagate, uh, and of course Russiagate, which ultimately led to Donald Trump being impeached and a whole bunch of other things. Uh, it basically sounds like the entire thing was a complete fabrication. So he had a crazy long thread. We picked just some of the highlights, so bear with me as I read some of these for you here, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. So uh, thread, Twitter files 14, the Russiagate lies. The fake tale of Russian bots and the hashtag release the memo hashtag. At a crucial moment in a years long furor, Democrats denounced a report about flaws in the Trump Russia investigation, saying it was boosted by Russian bots and trolls. Twitter officials were aghast, finding no evidence of Russian influence. We are feeding congressional trolls, not any significant activity connected to Russia putting the cart before the horse, assuming this is propaganda slash bots. These are obviously quotes from Twitter employees. Uh, four, Twitter warned politicians and media the, that not only they locked, lacked evidence, but had evidence the accounts weren't Russian and were roundly ignored. On January 23rd, 2018, Senator Dianne Feinstein and Congressman Adam Schiff published an open letter saying the hashtag gained the immediate attention and assistance of social media accounts linked to Russian influence operations. Connecticut Senator Richard Blumenthal followed suit, publishing a letter saying, we find it reprehensible that Russian agents have so eagerly manipulated innocent Americans. Couple more for you. Feinstein, Schiff, Blumenthal, and media members all pointed to the same source, the Hamilton 68 dashboard created by former FBI counterintelligence official Clint Watts under the auspices of the Alliance for Securing Democracy. The dashboard, which featured a crude picture of Vladimir Putin deviously blowing evil red Twitter birds into the atmosphere, was vague in how it reached its conclusions. I encourage you to be skeptical of Hamilton's 68's take on this, which as far as I can tell is the only source for these stories, said Global Policy Communications Chief and future White House and NSC, NSC spokesman Emily Horn. She added, it's a comms play for ASD. Couple more here. Roth couldn't find any connection to the release the memo at all. I just reviewed the accounts that posted the first 50 tweets with hashtag release the memo and none of them show any signs of affiliation to Russia. When Twitter spoke to a Blumenthal staffer, they tried to wave him off because we don't believe these are bots. Twitter executives even tried to negotiate, implying an undisclosed future PR concession if Blumenthal would lay off on this. It seems like there are other wins we could offer him. Blumenthal published his letter anyway. In essence, the Russian bot story, the Russian collusion story, it was all made up, and not only was it all made up, the people that were pushing it, Dianne Feinstein, Adam Schiff, Blumenthal, basically the entire Democrat machine, which ultimately led to two impeachments, certainly the first one, um, it was all complete nonsense and they knew it. If you'd like more sane takes on our insane world, check out our direct message clips playlist. And if you wanna watch more full episodes of our live roundtables, watch our roundtables playlist. They're both right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.